We have completed the loop of solving differential equations using Laplace transform, but we have been focusing on continuous functions only. Now to model functions that might not be continuous, we use Heaviside unistep function. Now, what does Heaviside mean? Heaviside is actually the name of the guy who invented it. Now this is how he looks like. In fact, he is also the same guy who invented cover-up rule in your partial fractions. And unit step, in the word unit, unit means one. And so this is like one step function, which you can see from the graphical representation here. Now the notation can be seen here. And the definition is here. Now let me explain a little bit further. Now, this notation u stands for unit step function it's a function of t minus c which is time actually so if we look at the picture there is a step now here is on zero which is represented by off here is at level one which is represented by on hence we say unit step function is like a switch it turns on at t equals to c. So before c is switched off, after c is switched on, which is can be seen here in the definition as well. t is less than c means before c. And t is more than or equal to c means after c. So before c, my unit step function is 0, which represents off. After c, my unit step function is 1, which represents on. Now look at some examples to confirm our understanding. In the first example, we have ut minus 3, which represents a switch that switch on at time equals to 3. Now if we were to sketch it, let me put up the axis first. Let me locate time equals to 3. So what happens now is before 3, before time equals to 3, my function is off. And at t equals to 3, it will turn on. Turn on means represent by 1. So this is a one-step function, unit-step function. Now if we were to write the definition, it will be represented by on and off. It will turn on after 3 o'clock or t equals to 3. It will be off before that. Now let us look at the second example. In this second example, ut as you can see it turns on when time is zero so let me again set up the axis first at time equals to zero it's on the y-axis so before the y-axis my function is switched off and after the y-axis, it will switch on, and on is represented by 1. In this third example, my switch turns on at t equals to 1. However, this 5 coefficient in front tells me it works like an amplification. So instead of uh, jumping up to 1, it will be amplified 5 times. So let's see what happens. Let me set up the axis. Let me locate t equals to 1. So, before 1 o'clock, my function is switched off, so it will be on 0. At 1 o'clock onwards, it will turn on, and instead of turning on at 1 step, it will be amplified to 5. So what happens here, if I were to write out the definition, is this.
before one o'clock before one my function is off and at one o'clock or one onwards my function is on and it doesn't just turn on at one it's amplified five times so you turn on to five now this gave me an interesting result for example if i were to write radio u t minus two now this basically means that the signal i have now is a radio signal and i'm going to turn on at two time equals to two so if i were to write out the definition it means this before two nothing is switched on so everything is off from time equals to two onwards I will switch on my radio. So this basically means switch on the radio at 2 o'clock. So if you understand this concept, let me now replace this radio with a signal function. So any signal function, if I were to put a switch, it will only switch on at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock or time equals to 2 onwards and before 2 it will be off let me now extend on this now imagine this scenario where i want to switch on my radio at t equals to 1 and i want to switch on the tv at t equals to 3 and then i want to switch on my computer at t equals to 4. I can then express this as radio switch on at 1 o'clock. On top of this, at 3 o'clock, I'm going to add on my TV to switch on at 3 o'clock. And on top of this, at 4 o'clock, I'm going to add on my computer which will switch on at 4 o'clock. So notice that I use positive and positive. Positive is to add on, keep adding on my electrical appliances, which in this case could be some signal. So it's radio, I'm going to switch on at 1 o'clock and I add on my TV, which will switch on at 3 o'clock. And I add on my computer, which will switch on at 4 o'clock. If I were to write out the definition, then this could represent some new function, new function GT where everything will switch off, nothing is switched on before 1 o'clock or before time equals to 1. Then I start to turn on the radio at time equals to 1 onwards. But at time equals to 3, something's going to happen because I add on my TV. So when time equals to 3 onwards, I have my radio add on my TV. But this will only go on until time equals to 4, where I will add on my computer. So I have type radio, TV, and computer all switched on from time equals to 4 onwards and I've never switched on since. Now let me show you another scenario. Supposedly I want to switch on my radio at t equals to 1 and know that it's a waste of electricity. So before I turn on my TV, I want to switch off my radio so that I can switch on my TV at time equals to 3. And this, I keep on watching my TV until time equals to 4 when I decided to switch off my TV so that I can switch on my computer at time equals to 4. How can I represent this by unit step function? Now, there are two ways to represent this. So I have method 1. If I look at radio, which I switch on at 1 o'clock and switch off at 3 o'clock. So radio, I'm going to switch you on at 1, time equals to 1. And kill you off 
which is to subtract the signal so to kill off the signal I subtract the signal so I turn off at 3 o'clock so for radio I'm turning you on at 1 o'clock and subtract means I'm going to turn you off at 3 o'clock and next will be my TV add on my TV signal which I will turn on at 3 o'clock and next I'm going to turn off at 4 o'clock because at 4 o'clock I'm going to turn on the computer and I've never switched off my computer since now this method you could see that actually there is some um, similar switch here and similar switch here so let me look at another method which combines this switch nicely together so again radio switch on at time equals to 1 so radio switch on at time equals to 1 now at time equals to 3 two things gonna happen first I'm gonna switch off the radio and turn on my TV so to turn on turn on my TV and switch turn on my TV and switch off the radio so TV kill off radio at 3 o'clock next at 4 o'clock I'm going to turn off my TV and switch on my computer so to add on I'm going to turn on the computer and kill off my TV so computer and turn off TV at 4 o'clock now this could be neater because all the switch is combined together unlike this where the switch is split up now regardless of method 1 or method 2 on the whole my new function looks like this nothing is switched on before 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock I turn on the radio but this will go on only until 3 o'clock because at 3 o'clock I turn off the radio to turn on the TV and this will go on until 4 o'clock because at 4 o'clock I turn off the TV and turn on the computer and I've never switched off since so the differences between these two scenario is that in this scenario all my signal keep adding on I've never turned off anything as you can see radio and then radio on TV and then radio on TV and on computer now in this second scenario at any one time only one signal is shown here so we only have radio turned on or we only have TV turned on or we only have computer turned on so this is an analogy because now I can simply just change this scenario such that instead of looking at radio I can look at a signal called function 1 I can look at a signal called function 2 and I can look at another signal called function 3 so in the same way I can do that function 1 function 2 function 3 so given three different signal I could just keep adding on and add on same here function 1 function 1 plus function 2 function 1 plus function 2 plus function 3 similarly for this scenario I could replace all this with signal function so instead of writing radio I put function 1 instead of TV I put function 2 and instead of computer I have function 3 
so with this analogy I generalize and you can see it here as well it's explaining the same thing that I just said so you could have a function which is turned on at time equals to 0 and at time equals to a you turn on the function 2 and turn off function 1 because it's a minus you kill it off and at time equals to b turn on function 3 and turn off function 2 how about this let's look at this so you have a, a function one signal which you will turn on at zero and turn off because you kill it off at minus and turn off at time equals to a there's a second function signal f2 which you turn on at time equals to a and kill it off at time equals to b and you have a third function f3 which you turn on at time equals to b and you have never turned off since now these two are similar because you could simplify this and you will still get this which is the same now I'm going to do the first example here and leave this example to much later so this function is made out of two signal 2 and t If I were to break down the time, you look at the time, this is time is after 4, this is time between 0 and 4. So this first signal is turned on from 0 to 4. The second signal is turned on from 4 onwards. Therefore, there is an on element and there is an off element. Can you feel it? This is like I turn on the first signal at 0 and i will have to kill it at four since it's this signal stops at four and i'll have to turn on the next signal okay so to write this out i have this signal two which i will turn on at time equals zero and kill it off at time equals to four and after that, I have this second signal, T, which I will turn on at 4. And nothing is turned off since. Now, this is not the best way to write it. You could simplify this by multiplying this in and multiplying this in. So let me do that. This is a function, so take note, do not multiply the 2 in. Now notice these two are the same type of switch. Both represent switch on at 4. So let me group them together. I have a negative 2 plus t, which I can rewrite nicely as t minus 2. This, if you look at this another way, at 0, at time equals 0, I will turn on the signal 2. As you can see here, at time equals 0, I'll turn on the signal 2. And at time equals to 4, two things are going to happen. At time equals to 4, I will have to turn off the signal 2 and then turn on the signal t. So at time equals to 4, I have to turn off the signal 2, so kill off 2 and then turn on T. So this is my most simplified unit step function.